First of all, how can you call a mixtape a mixtape when there's no mixing going on? Do some mixing. Blend two records together or do something to make that, that song sound different than just you just playing it. Because it sounds like you're just hitting a pause button. You know, I think the whole mixtape thing is just, I mean, it makes me angry because I'm a DJ. And it's like, you know, you see these guys get so famous off of being called mixtape kings. When all you're doing is getting someone else an a unreleased track from somebody, you're not even doing anything with it. You're just putting it on your, your, your tape. And no mixing, no skill, no nothing. I mean, it's not mixing. That's, why not just call it an album or an EP or something? That's what you need to call it. Don't call it a mixtape. I love Busta Rhymes. I love Q-Tip. They're, to me, one of the best that ever done it. To me, I mean, one of my favorite MCs and producers. Um, but I was kind of a little disappointed in their um, album that they came out with, their mixtape, because there was no mixing on there. And you can't say that they weren't, they're not DJs because they know a bunch of DJs around them. You know, DJ Scratch should have been able to do that, you know, myself or, you know, call upon some a couple guys to put that thing together. Because what they don't understand is, you know, this way I look at hip hop. Hip hop started from the DJ. The DJs had the MCs and the MCs get recording contracts and they got away from the DJs. Now what's happening is the DJs are now making money because we had to fend for ourselves. Now the MCs get mad at the DJs because now they're not playing, they're, they're not playing, they're playing set, the playlist, I should say, I should say. Like, I just saw this thing on the internet where um, the locks were on there talking to uh, Cypher Sounds about how New York DJs don't support the New York artists anymore. They're all only playing down south music, you know. But hey, you got to look at the overall thing. You guys abandoned us pretty much. You know, when you start making your records, you didn't feel as though a DJ was, and I'm talking about a real DJ, not somebody that's on the radio, you know, that has to play a bunch of playlist songs. I'm talking about the street guys. You know, we were the ones that were making and breaking records. We were the ones in the clubs, you know, taking chances on emptying a dance floor on something that we felt. You know, you should be coming to us for these things like mixtapes.